Before we do that though, mm. like this is now, it's not Humber Doge Podcasts, it's not Questions Over a Beer, oh. it's, it's a high Questions over a Humber Doge Theory Podcast. It doesn't always have to have theory, it's just a Karate Adventures Podcast, surely. The Karate Adventures Podcast, I like that. Yeah. Karate Adventures. We're all going to eventually live vicariously through Rue's life because he's been doing it to us for the last five years. That's right, that's right. So. Yeah, I've been soaking up the budo. And now you can soak up the adventures. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're off. You, you, you decided to terminate your contract mm-hmm. here. Well, <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> well, Just say to the, to the surprise of everyone. <laughs> Offering three more sausage. <laughs> <laughs> decided to terminate the contract um, to travel. Yeah. To well, have some real karate. And mu- musician and, and jungle adventures. So, so I know why it seems like it was on a whim, but we, like Ross said, we won't go into that. But it has been part of the plan from the start that I would do my time in the dojo, five years. Six. You'd get less for murder. I'm going to dump that. <laughs> six years. <laughs> six years. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and then I, uh, and I'd have my money saved and I'd go traveling. And... Um, yeah, but like I'm, my my plan is to go and see some of the world. I caught the travel bug a long, long time ago, and it's been a long time coming. It's something I've always wanted to do to make a big, big trip like that. So, uh, and and now since being part of the HDKI means I have loads of karate friends all over the world. So people to go and train with, people to go and visit, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So go on, give us the give us the the as it stands now. Mm. The pipe, the dream, the dream that you have. Is in the itinerary? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So, well, on Friday I'm flying to New York. We. And okay. I'm going to spend three Such weeks. Such an Irish thing to do. I know, yeah. <laughs> get, get, get checked for lice at Ellis Island. <laughs> yeah. I think Straight. you do that at Dublin Airport now. That's okay. Oh, well, I'm flying from Shannon Airport, actually. Yeah, there's, there's, there's American immigration in Shannon. In Shannon, well. good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll yeah. check you there. Yeah. You'll definitely get lice in Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying from Shannon Airport. Are you going from Shannon because you thought, ah, actually, I'll drive half the way. Half the way? Yeah, you're half, like, from, from oh, where right. you are to, yeah. that's half the way to New York, isn't it? But I thought Shannon would be really handy. It would be closer. It turns out it's just as far from Roscommon <laughs> as, uh, as fucking Dublin Airport. But it's much less hassle. It's much quieter. Uh, you can park outside the front door of the airport. Well, and you're, sold, you're selling your car mm-hmm. tomorrow. I'm selling my car tomorrow. So Mandy's driving me to the airport. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm selling my car, the old Honda Jazz, that fucking... That was my Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> I love that car so much. It's in the same neck as the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of crap. It's my piece of crap. And it never let me down. Yeah. No. And it looked like it worked on special effects. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shannon Airport, JFK. I'm going to spend three weeks in New York. I'm going to meet an old friend and do some surfing. I'm going to go and train with Richard Amos, Sensei. Chief instructor of WTKO. And then after three weeks in New York, I'm gonna get a plane actually to Detroit. It was way cheaper than the bus, the flight to, to yeah. Detroit. So, plane to Detroit. quite a big place, you know. Oh, huge. <laughs> yeah, massive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll tell you when the first time we came to America, when we flew into Florida and we landed at Orlando Airport and Hanif picked us up <laughs> and we walked into the parking lot and he went and hooked. A big pickup truck. <laughs> I've never seen anything so big in my life. Like, the pull, biggest, pull the bull thing down, like just. Uh, <laughs> like, talking of Millennium Falcon, it was the largest machine besides like a JCB I'd ever seen. Huge. And you grew up around tractors, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I wasn't allowed near them. 
<laughs> but anyway. So um, New, oh yeah, New York. Detroit. You're, you're Jesus, digging the trail, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got gigs in New York. I'm playing in class. two different Irish pubs in New York. So I've got three gigs. One in the Bronx. One in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's a bit of extra cash. Nice. And uh, then off to Detroit. Gonna meet Roberto Sensei. Gonna do a bit of Zumba. Gonna do a bit of karate. Gonna see Andrea and Brian Moon. Shout out. And uh, then after a few days in Detroit, it's over to Chicago. Going to meet my old friend Sarah in Chicago. She and her husband are going to put me up and I'm going to play a gig in Chicago as well. Four days in Chicago, then it's south. I'm going to get on Amtrak. I'm going to go to Dr. Mayo's. I'm going to visit the king at Gregson. Okay, I have to get through this a little bit quicker. <laughs> and then I'm going to check out Nashville, maybe Kentucky. Turns out I've got a cousin in Kentucky. Just found that out yesterday. Yeah, makes sense. But it wasn't on the... It's, it's, it's probably really far... From Tennessee, I don't know. Anyway, New Orleans. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm getting to New Orleans. I planned on just getting back on the train at Memphis, get down to New Orleans. And then, when I'm in New Orleans, I'm going west into Texas. And I, I can't remember the order, but I think it's like Houston, Austin, Dallas. And then there's... El Paso. El Paso, maybe. I, t- I took the bus from uh, El Paso to New Orleans once. Cool. No. Cool. No. I must try and get a gig in New Orleans as well. I think they have musicians there, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, in Texas, there's a tiny town in the in West Texas. It's not a tiny town, it's a city, but there's a town in West Texas called Lubbock. Ever heard of Lubbock? It's way out in West Texas in the middle of the desert. And there happens to be a band called the Mountain Goats. And I've been obsessed with the Mountain Goats for 10 years. They're my favourite band ever. They are launching their new album in Lubbock, Texas, on the 27th of October. So I've got a ticket to that gig. So cool. Lubbock, Texas, is that not about in Django? Christoph Waltz not say that like a bunch of times in Django. Oh, does he? Lubbock, in Django Texas? Unchained? No, I don't yeah, think so. Anyway, anyway Cross the Adventures. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going to see um, Denise Bradley okay. in uh, Paris, uh, Paris, Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. So you've got karate in, in New York, you've got karate in Detroit, you've got karate in Tennessee. Then, after Texas, I'm going to visit my friend in Washington State and then get a train, 40 hour train, down to San Diego. America's huge. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to spend another three weeks training with Steve Ubel Sensei. Oh, three oh, weeks. Intense training. I can't wait. So you can't be Hey, you probably won't. Play accident. <laughs> 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 probably be so annoyed just by me hanging about that he'll like cancel. The <laughs> this guy. Anyway, so yeah, training with Steve Ubel Sensei. Just when, when he actually swears at you, can you record it? Because no one's ever heard him swear. That'd be amazing. When he just goes, oh, for fuck's sake! Like, 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 it's just. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and then. Then my time in America is up because I can only stay for 90 days. Mm-hmm. For legal reasons. For legal reasons. And I'm going to get on a plane in Los Angeles. Fight is booked. Plane in Los Angeles to Peru. No karate in Peru. I'm going to go to the jungle. I'm going to volunteer on a farm. Uh, so I'm going to spend about a month doing that. And after that, I'm going to go to Buenos Aires. I'm going to visit HDKI Argentina. I don't know what that's going to be like. I have to send them an email. Okay. And, uh, Do they know you're going? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Surely they've heard a rumour by now. I mean, everyone's talking about it. <laughs> Are you going to I assume Rio? they'll contact me. Oh, I am going to Rio. Buenos Aires first. Uh, because uh, you can fly from Lima to Buenos Aires. Uh-huh. You, c- you can also fly to Sao Paulo. Oh. But you can't fly to Rio. Uh-huh. It can change. You know, there's a load of nonsense. So when I'm in Rio, after Buenos Aires, I'm going to visit Felipe Sensei in Rio. Big KWF guy, big Yahara guy, just for the people who aren't familiar. And do loads of training with Felipe, loads of surfing, and loads of maybe some other things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe, you never know. Yeah, visit the A lot of shaving, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've never shaved much. <laughs> I don't want to. That's the least of your concerns. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, then up into Sao Paulo to get a flight to I don't know where. That's as far as I've got planned. Yeah. That's as far as I've got like planned, and then I just know it's Asia. Probably straight to Thailand from Brazil. Thailand? What did I say? Thailand? Did I say Thailand? <laughs> Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Thailand. Thailand. Uh, probably a couple of months in Thailand. 
Did I say it right that time? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I'm meeting you guys in Japan in May. So what is that? Like February, March, April. Oh, it's probably time for Japan then after Ooh. Thailand, yeah. Ooh, very good. And then I don't know what. I'd love to go to India. Probably not going to go to Iran. <laughs> because I'll never get into America again. And that could be a problem. And then I'm going to spend next summer in Italy training with Paolo, Paolo Balaccio Sensei. Mm-hmm. So you're back in Europe by next summer? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. You can come visit me. Yeah, come to Gaeta. They haven't invited me back. No. Oh. Yeah, no. Keep it light, won't you? They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have invited you by now, though. They usually get the invite in like. No, yeah. they're, no they're not. Oh, no. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Bastards! <laughs> That's not to say that they won't in the future, so not bastards! What's a spaghetti munching bastards? <laughs> <laughs> I know. We love getting it. <laughs> Great. Mm. That's brilliant. That's the bones of the plan. So we're going we're gonna to kind of periodically mm. pop into your life via Zoom. What if you have Wi-Fi? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a dark munch within, within Peru well yeah. I've been told if you hike up the hill near the farm of Peru there's a signal up there so I might go to <laughs> oh, the big satellite phone is like <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be training up there and it will be like ring ring oh hello sensei oh gosh I'm just training <laughs> what is this oh yeah <laughs> yeah training in the jungle trying not to get bit by too many things too many off. parasites I'd say that would be a fucking nightmare <laughs> <laughs> you see the flies that like lay yes, eggs in your arms and you have to kill them oh, oh the, the um, what are oh. they called bot flies yeah the larvae and apparently if you're in Peru if you're in the jungle you just get bot flies and then you'll go to someone who knows how to tweeze them out but you have to wait for them to grow and when oh. they start wiggling that's when you see them wiggling they're like up oh, go to the man he this opens it up great. a little bit and Beating your brain. Probably like a poor lady in Australia. Did you not say that? No. A 10 inch worm? Or a 10 oh, centimeter worm? Yeah. Pulled out a living 10 inch, like squiggly, squiggly. She had kind of memory loss and diarrhea, and they went, What is this? Couldn't figure it out for two years. And then did a did a, a MRI of a, of a brain. Mm. Oh, there's some, some dead matter kind of. We need to kind of investigate. Opened her head up, and something wiggled. Imagine being a surgeon and the hop you'd get when you see someone wiggling out of someone's brain. I jump across the room. That is my game. Yeah. I enjoy that. Yeah, anyway, enjoy for real. Yeah, I will. No, I'll be training and I'll be working and I'll be swimming in the creeks and Exploring that. I'm actually going to be Don't on pee in the, the creeks, man, because you've got the fish that swim, swim up your winning. Up your winning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so I was, I was trying to decide between two different farms to volunteer on, volunteer at in Peru. One of them had a lot more reviews on workaway.info, great website. But one of them had fewer reviews, but it's actually by the Amazon River. And I'm like, if I'm ticking stuff off the bucket list, it has to be a boat ride on the Amazon, right? So, yeah. yeah. What do you have to do on the farm? I don't know yet. They're building. They're they're always building stuff. They're trying to build an eco lodge. Keelan Sensei, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, yeah, introducing just thinking, just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the replacement. <Yeah. laughs> introducing out with the old and with the <laughs> third dan younger hair look model. <laughs> Current HDKI yeah. Grand Champion. Do we call him Grand Champion? Is that what you want? Hell of a guy. Um, my uh, my replacement. Yeah. Anyway, oh, what was the question? What are you doing on the farm? Oh yeah, probably building, probably building huts. They're making an eco lodge, um, so they can invite tourists to experience the jungle. But they also have a farm. They have like a banana plantation because they live um, what do you call it self sufficiently, mm. and it's really near to a, a little village. And you can go play volleyball with the natives and do a language exchange and shit like that. So. Cool. Mm. That's great. So who are you looking forward to training with the most? I don't know, because I'm looking forward to different stuff for different reasons. Well, who are you so, looking forward to and why? Okay, I'm, I'm looking forward to training with Richard Amos Sensei because you never know what you're going to get. Like, it's like a roll of the dice, you know? And it's always, it's always intense and it's always, it is also always enlightening. Like, he's always got something. Um, and it'll be different to what I'm used to because I haven't trained with them in years and years. So yeah, really looking forward to that. And then um, looking forward to visiting HDKI America because they're all just beautiful people 
and you know, I've never met Roberto since I've heard so much about him and never met Denise and yada 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 and then uh, looking forward to training with Steve Ubel Sensei because he's just like you said before the beacon on the hill you know he's just amazing to watch and maybe I'll learn something I don't know I feel like it just goes over my head because he'll try and get you to do something but maybe won't lab maybe it's your it's your own responsibility to go and do the work then and try and learn how to do it so that's going to be um a bit of um what you call it like a bit of a task a bit of a, that's going to be hard work then looking forward to buenos aires because i don't know what to expect at all actually i've never i don't know anything about them i don't know if i'll be i don't mind saying this on the podcast i don't know if i'll be training or teaching or or what but we'll see what happens that's one of the reasons I want to do this trip because I want I want to have that feeling when you wake up and you don't know what's going to happen that day mm-hmm. or who you're going to meet and what's going to so then uh, training with um, Felipe is always just a blast. He's just got some good guys as well. Oh cool! Yeah. Oh, yeah. To fight you, you fight the Brazilians. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be turned into a pretzel. <laughs> you, you think you're having a bit of a party? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't mind. I don't mind. I, when I say like, we're oh, going to fight, it's like I'm looking forward to beating people up. I love getting beat up. I love the feeling of getting knocked around. Anyway, then um, <laughs> not in a kinky way. <laughs> Is that what you went with? That? <laughs> Just giggles at me. And uh, what's what's after that? Oh yeah, and then the other, there's two other bits of training I'm really looking forward to. I've done a little bit of Muay Thai, but not intensely. And I know when I'm in Thailand, I'm gonna feel like a complete beginner. Recently, I did a session with my brother, Jordan, who does a fair bit of Muay Thai. And it was like, you can't stand like that. And I was like, ah, surely I can use my stance. And he's like, nope, they won't let you. You have to stand the right way or they won't teach you anything. Oh, really? And then I was like, okay, a bit of this because I've done a bit of boxing with Ross and it was like, no, 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 this, because if you're like that, you're gonna get clinched too easy. So everything I'm used to has to go out the window. So I'm gonna feel like a complete beginner. So two months of really hard training and just like being put back to work. So is that all arranged? No, no, but it's really easy. When you get to Thailand, there are thousands of gyms that want your money. You're not gonna see, you're not gonna see Wee guy, whatever his name is. Oh, uh, Trainer, Trainer Gee. Gee. Trainer I am, yeah. Well, oh, I'm yeah. going to try and find him. I know what gym he works at. Okay. But he also does international seminars all the time, so mm. he might not be home. But that's in I Bangkok. I checked out his website, and it's literally just like, book a session. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. very easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So he had, a, he had a, a video of, it on, of him on this morning with some girl who was, like, really tough. Mm. And he was just doing these, like, woo wee and like, and, like, I don't know, whatever it was, two minutes, and she was <laughs> I mean, like it looks great to get you to kick the pads full power mm. maybe 20 times and then the last one he just tweets <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> it's just such amazing yeah. time oh, it's yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. so Trainer D I'm going to try and bet my best to meet him but I'm not going to stay in Bangkok because it's expensive I'm going to go visit a city called Chiang Mai which is really I don't know if that's how you pronounce it really far inland but it's cheaper to stay it's cheaper to train and I've no doubt the, the Muay Thai is of good quality well, actually I'm a beginner so what does it matter yeah, and you should hook up with Ak- Ekapol. Well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he in Phuket or Bangkok? I think he's in Bangkok. Okay, a bit. Yeah, a bit of crap. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last thing, Paolo Sensei, in Italy. Um, so I'm just going to go and try and absorb. He's he's really patient. He's a great teacher. So I've no doubt I'll learn lots. But um, uh, yeah, that's the last month and a half or two months of my trip. Summertime in Italy. So you're going to be back here a year from now. <clears throat> I don't know, it's hard to, it's, well, probably after Japan, I want to go to India if I've got any fucking money left. I want to go to India, so, um, so it'll be like May in Japan, June in India, yeah. July and August in Italy, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I don't even know if there's flights. I don't even know if there's flights. I can try to work <laughs> you with the Bushindo guys. And, and oh, in India? India I guess I'd love that. And go to Nagpur. Mm. And there you go, that's it. And then you're going to come back and take over. I'm going to come right back. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to come right back and enter the HDKI International Cup. (laughs) 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 And take Keelan's crown. (laughs) I just told you. (laughs) 
fight for his dojo in your van. <laughs> My van is sold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so to a very nice Spanish man who lives in Limerick. Oh man, it was such a stress because I've been dying to sell that. I've been, I have a van, I had a van. People don't know anything about this. I was ready. So, so just, so <laughs> Rue has this thing where, where we'll, we'll, have, we'll be having breakfast after training and then you have an idea and you share it with the group. And we'll either go, that's a really good idea, or we'll berate him and make Very fun of him. Very rarely do we get it. <laughs> we'll, we'll berate him and make fun of him until it, he sees sense. He didn't tell us about this one. <laughs> <laughs> his, his opening line was, you know how I've always wanted. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted a boat. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> what? People aren't going to get this, it's going to take way too long. I... He, he wanted to sail around the world initially. Yes. yes. No, you wanted to live on a boat because you couldn't afford a house. Exactly. Yeah. So I was gonna, I was gonna beat the system. I was gonna be smart. I was like, <laughs> the rental uh, situation in Dublin is crazy. You can't afford anything if you're paying rent. It's just pissing money away. I'll buy a boat. And I was gonna buy a boat, live on the boat. Turns out, staying on a marina costs just as much as um, as uh, living in an apartment without you know heating or and and I only kind of sussed all that out after I borrowed a lot of money from the bank <laughs> so now I have to fucking do something with this money now I could have just given it back I suppose but I was like no 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 I'll buy a van hashtag van life I'm going to convert my van into a uh, into a, a motorhome I'm going to live in it I'm going to save all my money that way I'm going to pay off my loan I'm going to save my money and then I'm going to do my world trip didn't quite work out that way because there was nowhere for me to work to do the construction to make the van because I live in Dublin. Also, paying back the loan meant I needed more money. And you so, couldn't drive it, to be fair. I, well, not legally. No. <laughs> 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 so then I had to take gigs. I had to start gigging on the weekends and then I was tired all the time. I had no free time. Blah, 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 blah. I spent the summer... Renovating the van. You cut three Didn't... holes in it. <laughs> no, oh, like, that's not renovating. Oh no, so much work. Oh god. Oh, and I, did, I was doing a really good job. Too. <laughs> See when you showed us it when yeah. we came to your house, and I you opened the back of it, and I looked, and I was like, <laughs> 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 like there's a lot of work for it. For, very little for not much game. <laughs> I'm really glad I was on my first glass of wine because any more I would have told you exactly what I thought. <laughs> I had done a lot of work. Okay, I know it didn't look like it, but. Anyway, <laughs> some some small poor schmuck from no, it's like Limerick bought it up from. He wasn't some yeah. schmuck. He fucking drove a hard party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's listening. Was oh, he, did he jump on three, it. Uh, he did everything. Did he jump on the back of it? He did everything. He did that as well as he had bought his own little Bluetooth device for plugging into the CPU of the van to check for any faults and all this. Spent three hours going through it, and I was so. Annoyed and also very hungry, and he wouldn't fuck off and buy the van, but then he did eventually, and I lost a lot of money, but it was enough to pay off the loan, and now I'm free. Did he buy all the extra bits? Of yeah, he bought everything. Yeah. He got everything. The fucker. <laughs> <laughs> all the conversion equipment, the heater, the battery. He got everything. Yeah. Well, let that be a he got, You know what? He got everything but the spare tire. <laughs> somehow I lost the spare tire. It came with a spare tire and I don't know where the fuck it was. So he was like, where is it? I was like, I think I lost it. So I was to take it with that. Anybody want to buy, buy a tire? <laughs> <laughs> so you so you're heading to New York on Friday. And do you, do you have like when you are you've got these places to that you're gonna teach at, mm. places you're gonna train at, you're gonna be training in New York with Richard Sensei. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sort of set goals for your travels in terms of training, like you're training with these people, are you just going with like empty, empty vessel, fill it up with knowledge, or are you wanting to like attain something with each sensei that you're training with, or each like instructor that you're training with? Jesus, that's I hadn't thought about that, so no. <laughs> <laughs> but now that you mentioned the travel world. Train with all these people, why? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like something to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean like. <laughs> do you mean like. Like, because obviously the, each sensei has their own expertise, yeah. their own style about them and stuff. So, is it not something when you look at Richard Sensei's karate, you go, I love the way he does this, I'll, that's what I want to get out of my three weeks in New York? Yeah, definitely. Well, I see. I know a thing. That's, <laughs> definitely. Know, that what are those? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that not your question? That was a like you know, is there anything specifically for sure? 
<laughs> well, it's to learn from Richard Engel Sensei. That's it. Why do you want to go and train with Richard Engel Sensei? To learn from him. I'm sure just being in class with him will be enough. There'll be something for me to learn. Mm. But is there anything I specifically want to learn? Like, I want to learn to punch like him. I want to learn to do my stances like him. I don't know. L little specific things like that. No. I just want to be there and soak it up. Um, but, yeah, just... I, also, I think if I went with something specific that I wanted to learn, it might get in the way of something else that maybe he wanted to teach me, mm -hmm. or that he wanted to teach on that day in class. So I'm going with an open mind. Girl's head's nodding. <laughs> Got all that one, didn't you? <laughs> and then when it's all done, what are you, you going to do? Oh. Win the HDKI International Cup. Yeah. And um, then start my dojo. So I'll be coming back in September. Like land. So what I thought I might do is while while I'm in Italy, take a couple of weeks and actually visit home and suss out some venues in the west of Ireland to start my dojo in. Quickly as I can, arrange things, book slots for um, September. Go back to Italy to continue my training, and whilst there, begin advertising. Probably borrow some money from Manu to fund the advertising. <laughs> Um, and uh, and yeah, get get my start, and it'll be it'll be hit the ground running. I'll have to like land in Shannon or Dublin or whatever. Um, head out to head out to go away. Probably stay with my friend Ryan initially because he lives out there. Find a place to stay. Start teaching. Probably so it's start. It's going to be Galway. It's definitely going to be Galway, is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure at this stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that far enough? Sligo Town is a good 40 minutes from Tober Curry, by the way. And Charlestown. We're getting closer. Oh, yeah? We're <laughs> yeah, go away. Go away, will do me. Yeah. Cool. Loch Ray is ideally where I'd like to live, but, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a big county, but whatever. Yeah. Probably teaching close enough to Galway Town, probably in the, the surrounding areas, but also Loch Ray, it's a lovely town. And uh, yeah, my uh, my goddaughter lives in Loch Craig, so I have to be there. Have to be there. I have to be there. She's <laughs> she's Gandalf. So I'm taking it seriously. Ready to show the way. Yeah. Cheesy, cheesy, queasy stuff. No, so actually, I'm not a godfather. Oh. I'm a guide parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, what do you call it? What do you call it when it's not religious? Uh, sectarian. What's that sectarian? Point? No, like, no, no, that's the other one. That's, that's, <laughs> that's when you when you persecute somebody. For <laughs> it's not that. It's, um, it's humorous. It's, huh? It's it's humorous. Humorous. That's a, that's no, a, no, that's no, a no, 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 no. Non, uh, uh, whatever. Non denominational? It's, nah, it's just a non religious thing. Non committal? It's uh, so you, instead of being a godparent and instead of having a godchild, you're a guide parent. Okay. And you're just a, an honorary kind. You have an honorary kind of role in the child's life. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uncle Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Ruth. That's what I would call it. Mm -hmm. Gay being crazy. I mean, imagine being gated by Ruth. It's guided parent. So yeah, start my dojo in the west of Ireland and probably get a few gigs as well. Keep some extra cash coming in. And then buy a bit of land and build my... Settle down, settle, settle down and get married. Oh yeah, settle down and get married. Buy a couple of puppies. Um, build a house. Uh -huh. And then build a dojo as well. So I want like... I've got a vision for a, a nice bit of land in the country. Not too far from, you know, uh, some kind of urban centre. So that you can get people coming to your dojo, obviously. <laughs> but I want like... <clears throat> a traditional Japanese wooden kind of dojo on stilts. I don't know, we'll, we'll discuss planning permission <laughs> later, you know, we'll get to that. They have stuff on stilts in Japan, don't they? Just, really? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Mine's gonna have stilts. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Japan. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and dormitories for, okay. for retreats and summer camps and stuff. Cool. Surfing camp. Surfing camps. Mm. Surfing train. Great, well. Mm. It's an exciting year ahead. Mm. Oh, gotcha. How, how far do you think he gets before he dies? <laughs> I think we'll just see him back here next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for his passport. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, we, we, we've got it all summed up. How long was that? <laughs> Nobody's timing. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think how, how are you anyway? Great. 
<laughs> oh, good. No news. No news. Mm. No news. Okay. Well, I suppose there's no. Uh, this, this is no like an episode zero yeah. of Crack Adventures podcast. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the pre. What is it called? Prequel. Prologue. Prologue. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's no traditional failures, last thoughts. Uh, like I think it would be quite nice to hear a fail of the month or whatever, but however yeah. long we do it, what is he, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, did he get mugged in the Bronx after yeah. he straight away after his pick? Mugged in the Bronx, fucking <laughs> attacked by an uncontacted tribe and, and <laughs> the Amazon fucking arrows come flying out. You go back to Galway and teach knife defence and bow and arrow defence yeah. and, yeah. and spears. Get on the like, so imagine I'm going on a, I'm just going out for a walk, then coming back, rags on the on a plank on a plank of wood with his guitar as a fan, <laughs> going down the river like Jesus Christ. <laughs> After just a couple hours, you know? I'm not taking my guitar to Peru. I'm my guitar. Uh, we Sarah is going to visit me in California, and she's taking my guitar home because you can't go to the zoo without a guitar. We Sarah, we Sarah, we we Sarah. 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 Sarah's love. Yeah. She's lovely. She's, she's great. Yeah. We always knew you'd meet someone just before you left. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Any time I had a date, Scott was like, don't fucking go falling in love now because you're going away. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know, it's just a date. And then I'm like, I'm in love! It's, it's going really well. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to me, Sarah. So she's going to meet you in, in California? Yeah. yeah, she's going to come meet me in California. Yeah, ah, really? And Japan as well. In Japan? Mm, yeah. Well, you should come to Japan, man. You've money. got no money. I can never have any money. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stop me from... from Keelan's got loads of money. You'll come to Japan. Thanks for catching me. Country lads always have loads of money. He probably has a hundred acres of land. Keelan's sponsored. Keelan's sponsored. Keelan's sponsored. Keelan's sponsored. The interest I have to go to Japan, so... Mm. She, I think she can go to see you in Italy, surely. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. She'll, she'll hardly know I'm gone. Yeah. She'll be sucky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll have to meet this fucker again. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, yeah. Okay. Well, should we call it, uh, we should draw a line under it there because, uh, you know, we want to, we, next time, mm-hmm. we'll have an exciting All about story about Richard. About Richard, Richard yeah, so, Doing Tai Chi yeah. in the park. Oh, there's a Tai Chi teacher in New York I'm going to okay. visit as well. I have to, cool. I have to send him in there. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Training, trains in the park. In like Harlem. Just rock up and bow and have a wee gift for him and be like, "Can you teach me See you. in Harlem?" Christ, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you, no, you, you wave at the wrong person. <laughs> I get a bullet in the head. You like. One on one. You know, one on one. Get fucking dungarees, fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you don't know about me, Ross, is I'm savage at <laughs> <and> basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I've been keeping that on the lowdown for eight years. <laughs> oh, man. Remember when you're in Sarasota and you're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll walk, I'll, I'll walk. Like, and and he's, he's walking along and there's like flashing lights and police car. I can see him walking along and I'm like, you got, you're right, yeah. You know you've just passed a murder scene. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, body, like, like, he's like, oh, no, no. You know Forrest Gump? <laughs> he was fine. <laughs> He's also fictional. He's also a ping pong champion, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you don't have his running legs. I'm a harmonica champion. Harmonica champion. I'm the best harmonica player in Ireland. Second best. Better than Bob Hill. Better than Bob Hill. Better than She can't play harmonica. <laughs> I'm telling you. I say that my gigs all the time. I'm like, anybody here knows any harmonica players? Send them to me. And we will battle with that. Because I'm like, pretty sure. Like public enemy challenging their, <laughs> any DJs yeah, in the yeah, crowd exactly. to go up against them. Like the Gracie's <laughs> open challenge, you know? They it's fight not anyone. really, though, is it? It's like, if you know any Tiddlywink champions, <laughs> yes. say, I'll beat them. It's like a whole moniker. Yeah, yeah, well, so far I'm unbeaten. Because I have nobody's, nobody's come to challenge me yet. A moniker is a musical instrument that has asthma. <laughs> <laughs> She's like. <laughs> Every time you play it. Really? What, what, other, what other musical instrument do you play breathing in? Um, oh, that's a good question. I don't think any. Mm. Mm. Stick with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
Right, we'll, we'll, see, see, you, we'll see you we'll, in we'll, Yoko. We'll, 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 we'll come back with either another exciting episode or a very <laughs> sad, <laughs> sad news. Funeral notices. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Watch for updates. Mm-hmm. In loving memory of. Mm-hmm. Okay. Us. Oh, right. us. Good see luck, you, Good luck. It's been a pleasure knowing you. <laughs> <laughs>